Is this the future of reselling going forward? Today, we're going to talk about where reselling is going and who may be the dominant force in the very, very near future based on everything going on right this minute. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about the future of reselling. Now, there's one platform out there that's advancing beyond everybody else's thoughts. At this point, the number two right behind Amazon is actually Shopify and not eBay. The number one platform, Amazon, Walmart, and all the other sites are worried about is not eBay anymore. It's Shopify. Shopify has done some things that none of the other platforms have done. Shopify pushes for the smaller people. Shopify has an app called Shop, which is very well used. Tens of millions of people use their app on the phone. It rivals Amazon's. It's probably one of the bigger ones out there for the services and all the tie-ins that they have. Now, Amazon, on the other hand, is geared towards third-party sellers specifically. The more you pay, the more advertisements you have on the site, the more revenue you may get. So that means, though, that the bigger sellers, the bigger companies, are going to get all the leverage on Amazon. That's not the case with Shopify. With Shopify, you have an open playground based on how your proximity is to the people using the Shop app. Now, I've been following the progress of Shopify for quite some time. We've used it before. We're actually in the process of turning everything right Right back on now now that we have a little more time to play with one of the sites I use very frequently is Forbes Forbes magazine has a very good site that discusses a lot of these sorts of issues now here's just one specific article here there's hundreds of articles out there not just on Forbes much of the information I find on Forbes pretty much backs up my thinking as well so I do feel a lot of this is the direction that things are going now, Shopify has an advantage over most of them they will be able to dominate more so than uh, Amazon for many different reasons they have a better uh, rapport with the people using it because Shopify gives them access to all of the other sites to begin with I can connect my eBay to Shopify and then to Amazon Etsy Walmart or anywhere else basically these days everybody who's anybody big wise is trying to get on or is already on Shopify so you've got to look at all aspects of it there's been rumors that Shopify may create its own site to sell things on just like Amazon but use different approaches to it that better uh, represent a lot of the sellers this is the rumor going around at least and it's been going around for quite some time and I've been hearing more and more comments about it now Shopify has responded to some of these comments and didn't deny it in any way they just said they're looking out for their their base their businesses and small entrepreneurs so again it may be some Something coming down the line now I'm constantly asked is eBay gonna be sold is somebody else gonna take over for eBay and all of these sorts of things the only one out there that I could see that could take over eBay and even Amazon possibly could be Shopify everything that's going on all their money all their financials everything is gearing towards that direction they are flying away with a lot of different things they're gobbling up all kinds of other services they've got email services package and shipping services tracking services they offer the entire complete package for most everything you could imagine for a site for a entrepreneur for somebody who's running their own business Here's another one right here, why Amazon can't beat Shopify. Now you can look at many different articles, you're going to see a ton of information talking about Shopify. Even Amazon themselves have been worried about Shopify for the last two financial seasons. Amazon has talked about Shopify being their number one competitor in most of their financial talks across line or in meetings or anything else like that. You can read tons of articles on their thoughts on Shopify in general. Shopify is who scares Amazon. Shopify has already passed eBay and they're continuing to rise. They will be challenging Amazon head on at any point the way this is going. It could knock off Amazon. With Shopify, they have all of the package group. It's not just them pushing third parties to keep their business going. 
the majority of Amazon sales from the last report that I saw come from third party sellers like me, you and everybody else who may be selling on Amazon. Now with Shopify, everybody has the same playing field basically. Shopify does even offer shipping services similar to what Amazon does with FBA. So they are literally going to be able to touch every aspect, spots where Amazon just can't go. And that is why I see that Shopify could possibly be the dominating factor in all of reselling very quickly. Big national companies even use Shopify to set up some of their online presence. Anybody for 30 bucks can get a Shopify store and do anything else that most other businesses do. Looking at Shopify's financials, they are on fire. Another article from Forbes, Shopify ends year in a blaze as it prepares for more growth. Their numbers almost doubled. They did $2.9 billion compared to $1.5 billion the previous year. So they are literally on fire. Everything about them, every little aspect that they have been doing has been geared towards helping a lot of these smaller sellers. It has drawn people like me and many other vendors and sellers to use the platform because of all these features. Now, comparing Amazon and Shopify isn't really an accurate comparison because they have totally different models. Shopify is actually centered in, as I said, on the smaller vendors, the smaller people, people like me, you, and other vendors who are selling. They don't necessarily give any special favors like Amazon does to the big wigs on the platform. So you have bigger options from what I can see and what I have personally experienced from Amazon. Now, there's differences, of course, across the board with Shopify. You've got to do a lot of your own promoting once you start to get into the groove and into a certain aspect online though your stuff can start to draw attention and then the aspect of Amazon and promoting may not be as essential so there are ways around it where Shopify offers far more features far more seller friendly features that is things that are helpful to us without having to worry about it now with Shopify I can sell on Amazon and many people may assume that that option might just be shut off by Amazon. But if Amazon shuts Shopify off, they could lose a good chunk of their revenue. Again, because much of Amazon's revenue comes from third-party sellers. If they cut off the majority of the third-party sellers, their revenue could drop in half, possibly, depending on how many do actually vacate the platform. So again, there's no benefit to literally just cut off Shopify. Same issues with eBay as well. A lot of people who use Shopify sell on eBay and Amazon together. So it's a whole different ballpark, a whole different game when you're looking at somebody who has that ability. Shopify I could actually get the upper hand on Amazon the way it's going right now through some of these actions. Now, the biggest deciding factor in my book are financials, are the actual Wall Street reports, what their stock does. Now, I don't play in the stocks much, but I do pay attention to it because if Wall Street goes somewhere, usually there's some reason they are going there. Shopify stock is up two and a half times from last year so they are way way up across the board they have been delved into many many times all of the outlooks that I see look extremely encouraging more so than even say Amazon eBay Etsy and all of them almost put together they have far better options to do things that other platforms can't again they are basically the grassroots of online reselling in my book they give you the options to actually open up a small store all of your own that you can control when you're on Amazon you have to follow by their rules their looks their everything so you aren't able to distinguish yourself very visually from any other seller on the platform with those Shopify I can have a completely different store set up however I want it also doesn't say that it's run powered or promoted by anybody else other than me it's just me so so anybody looking at the site would just assume it's my own site, even if it's a Shopify site. Another thing with Shopify, I've known people who have sold through Shopify for years and have expanded their business more so through Shopify than any other service market or application out there on the globe right now. Many of these I know very personally and have seen their inner workings and Shopify does do what it says. The learning curve is far less than any of the other sites or applications or services that I have personally used. Now I have 
have no connection with Shopify in any way, shape, or form other than using the platform to sell my own goods. These are my honest, sincere business thoughts on Shopify versus everything else that's going on. Shopify is where I'm investing a lot of time again this year to finally get it going where we can expand as well. All I see going on with Shopify right now is growth. And with all of the market changing because of the pandemic, everybody going online, this is ground zero. This is the expanse. This is the start for a lot of small businesses to really get their foot on the platform and get their stuff out there, visible to multiple platforms and multiple people through Shopify. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. R2-D2, be careful. Uh-oh. Action figures each sold separately, like Luke Skywalker and new R2-D2 with sensor scope. R2, come out of there right now. Help me locate Yoda with your sensor scope. You found someone, I'd say. Your search is over, Luke. Ben Kenobi and Yoda. Learns quickly, the Sherman Jedi. Yoda, new R2-D2, and other action figures each sold separately from Kenner's Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back collection.